Did you know that everything that we choose to do comes from the basis that we think is going to make us feel better? Even down to the simple things of going to the bathroom, taking a nap, eating lunch, going to see a friend. We think by doing that it's going to make us feel better. So we choose to do that so we can feel better. Because every choice we make is always about wanting to be and feel much better. But sometimes we do things that we don't really want to do, but yet we do them. And most of the time, because we choose to do those things, we are allowing the thoughts that are going on in other people's heads affect how we feel. So in return, those feelings make us choose to do certain things, and by doing those certain things, we think it's gonna make us feel better, but it never does. We're never really happy. We always feel ugly because it's not really us. And it kind of got me thinking of the story about the ugly duckling, where the duck was actually a swan, but because he was in a flock of ducks, he thought he was a duck, and he allowed the thoughts that were going on in the duck's head affect how he feels. And then he would choose things that he wouldn't want to do, but yet he did them anyway because he wanted that to make him feel better. He even looked in the reflection and, and the water was moving and it made him look like he was warped. So of course then he already started believing that he was an ugly duckling. But the whole time he was a swan. You know, we're like that too. You know, we can never really be ourselves if we're always acting like a duck. So today I thought it'd be really cute to help us remind that we are nothing but a beautiful swan. And because of that, I thought it would be a great way to bring in the holidays to help remind ourselves to give us our favorite present, which is to be ourselves and to make sure that the thoughts that we are thinking are our thoughts and that those thoughts are making us feel good. Because you can never ever be a swan when you're feeling like an ugly duck. So let's get started. So if you follow me, you probably know that I use a lot of poultry netting or chicken wire. Well, <laughs> the funny thing is we're going to use chicken wire to make a swan. So it's amazing how our thoughts can create exactly what we want. <laughs> anyway, you just want to get some, some chicken wire and um, you're going to sculpt out the body kind of like a bowl. You know, the bottom where his, his, um, his body's at is going to hold like our Christmas ornaments. But you just want to shape it up. It's pretty simple. And then when you get your body shaped the way you want, then you're going to sculpt the neck. And the neck kind of goes up like an S and it kind of looks down. As you can see, I've already got my swan uh, already sculpted with the poultry netting. Now I'm actually just going to take some um, batting and that crazy Halloween spiderweb cotton because it really they make it so crazy nowadays that it just looks more fluffy so I'm actually just gonna weave that in spread it around the chicken wire and, it, and this really grabs quick with this stuff and make it give it some feathers okay so you can see I've got him all shaped up now with that spiderweb cotton and the loose batting that you can actually kind of tear and stretch so this kind of gives us a nice base for his feathers and now I'm just actually going to hot glue some real white feathers that go like this on his wings and just a few around his head to give him more of a realistic look. For his beak, I thought, I'm just going to make an entire beak sparkly diamonds so he can really have something to squawk about. Okay, so you can see I bedazzled his beak and I gave him some bedazzled eyes and I actually used black spiderweb that was from Halloween, yes I had some of that left over, and put that around his beak and around his eyes because if you look at a swan, they kind of have that little that triangle point. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to spray adhesive, glitter all over 
the feathers here to give it a kind of really cool iridescent glamour look and I'm going to use that white iridescent look because that'll give it still kind of the white feather. If you ever find out what really a swan symbolizes, it actually symbolizes many things in ancient cultures. One that was interesting is in Britain, it's always looked at as a royal like symbol. And, and still today, they look at it like it's the royal bird. But um, so I thought, if it's going to be royal, we better give it a crown. <laughs> So I'm actually going to glue this onto his head with, and put some floral wire. So place some ornaments or uh, Christmas balls um, inside him as a basket, pine cones, whatever you want. I just think the gold balls would be really pretty. If you want to add a ribbon, a red ribbon, or um, um, anything that you think would be really glamorous inside of a royal bird. <laughs> Blue Danube, anyone? <laughs> Merry Christmas and thanks so much for watching. Bye.